Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra from Echo Golf 3 Uniform, Papa Charlie. Over. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra from Echo Golf 3 Uniform, Papa Charlie. Over. Echo Golf 3 Uniform, Papa Charlie. This is Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. How copy? Good afternoon, Mark. Thank you very much for the contact. If you think so, we can start with the, with the questions, okay? Over. Let's begin. Over. Why isn't the ISS farther away from Earth? Over. Uh, the farther away we get from Earth, the less protection we have from the radiation, from the magnetic field of the Earth. And we're far enough away to avoid interacting with too much of the Earth's atmosphere. Over. Is there a protocol that must be followed in case of finding extraterrestrial life? Over. Uh, not that I know of. Over. How do you measure your weight in the space? Over. We use a large spring that uses the, uh, the how quickly the spring moves us back and forth to measure our weight. Did you watch the Mark and movie started by Matt Damon? If it, if it is so, do you think the story might be true in Mars in distant future? Over. I did watch the movie and enjoyed it very much. I hope the exact situation never happens, but I do think we will have people on Mars someday. How long does it take to put on the spacesuit? Over. It takes anywhere from about 10 minutes to an hour. Over. How much energy do you produce with the solar panels and how do you use it? Over. Uh, I'm not sure the exact amount, but we use it for everything that, we, that requires electricity on the space station, from um, exercise equipment to science experiments to lights. Over. How and how often do you receive supplies from the Earth? Over. I would say it's been about roughly every 45 days. I've been up here for three months and we're, our third vehicle will be coming up here uh, in about another week or two. Do you think that in the near future, ordinary citizens will be able to travel to the space? Over. I do think ordinary citizens will be able to travel to space. I don't know how long that will be though. Over. Do you think nowadays women, women have the same possibilities as men in the space blur? Over. We're trying hard to make sure that's the case. Uh, the NASA astronaut class of 2013 had half of it was women. Over. Is up there anyone playing any music nowadays, or just Chris Hafid used to do that? Over. Uh, we have uh, a guitar up here and a keyboard and a tin whistle, and there are several crew members that enjoy playing music in their off time. Over. What time zone do you use in the ISS? Over. We use Greenwich Mean Time. Over. How did you feel the first time you slept on the ISS? Over. A little uncomfortable. My lower back bothered me a bit, but now it's very comfortable. Over. How did you feel about the image of astronauts shown on TV or cinema compared to your real life? Over. I think uh, the portrayal of astronauts is as varied as the astronauts themselves, so I'm fine with that. And uh, it's, at least it's entertaining. Over. Which was your reaction when you were selected? Over. I was very, very excited, and in fact, I'm still very, very excited about that now. Over. Can you explain any funny situation that happened there? Over. I can't remember the exact details of any of them, but I do remember um, laughing so hard that I, that I had uh, to wipe my eyes. Over. What are the skills that you need to be there? Over. The most important skill to be a good crew member on the International Space Station is to be able to work very well along with the other people you're living with. Over. After several time in the space, do you have another perspective of the life? Over. Life on Earth seems much more precious and fragile to me now. Um, I think that humanity needs to work much better, and uh, I have a renewed appreciation for how varied and beautiful the Earth is. Over. Is your hair growing as much as it does on Earth? Over. Yes, I think so. I don't think the, uh, the rate
point of needing haircuts has changed at all for me. Over. Do you sleep fewer hours if you're in the space? Why? Over. Honestly, for me, I think I have to sleep more hours in space, and that's only because the job I have to do requires so much attention to detail that I need to have all of my mental capability when I'm working. Over. Will you have accepted to do a space trip with the technology that had been used on the first moon landing? Over. If given the opportunity, I absolutely would have accepted it. However, it would have required much more bravery. Over. Okay, Mark, thank you very much. We have finished the 20 questions. We want to agree your attention. Uh, thank you very much from here, the EETEAC. -E thank you very much, and 73. It was a wonderful opportunity for me to talk to the School of Telecommunications and Aerospace Engineering. And uh, I wish you all a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. And this is Astro Romeo 4, India, Sierra, Sierra, out. Sí, yo creo que ha sido una experiencia perfecta, súper emocionante. Ha gustat molt fer tot aquest contacte i al final ens ha sobrat temps i hem fet 20 preguntes, que això és una cosa que quasi no ens podia esperar ningú, però haig de felicitar un cop més els radioaficionats que ho han fet a perfecta senyal pura, una FM brutal i us felicito a tots i enhorabona.